Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It took me a moment to like process that just then. But this foundation retails for like five or six pounds, something like that, like something really, really affordable. It's just coming to store in Boots and it's online at Beauty Bay in the UK, which is great because otherwise we didn't have access to it before. So I picked this up while there was a 20% off for students at Boots. Otherwise you can get 10% off all year round as a student at Beauty Bay. I have a lighter shade, which is Soft Ivory. I've had a look at the shades online and there's only like 12 shades, which isn't very broad at all, considering I'm aware this foundation's been out for a while. But also I feel like, although the shade ranges have like a decent jump between each, it doesn't feel like there are enough or that it goes like quite dark enough, maybe even quite light enough. So now we're gonna have a look on the website so we can see what we're expecting finish wise. So basically, the idea is that this is supposed to create a flawless kind of canvas for you to work on, but it doesn't mention anything except that it's matte and it's not going to create flashback, which is all well and good. But to me, generally speaking, powders can be your biggest problem with flashback. It's great that this foundation isn't going to be, but it also doesn't tell you what coverage it's supposed to be. And I will go through with you guys what I think of the coverage as I apply it, like I always do. So I tend to do like a five to ten hour light wear test so two check-ins and then we'll kind of see how it lasts throughout the day if it breaks down what the finish is but the start and the end if you're new here i have dry to combination skin i get like oily here and then dry here and this kind of does whatever it fancies on the day so we'll see how it goes i'm hoping this foundation lasts really well because like this is such like a good price for a foundation. If this can be my new favourite, I'll be I'll be in for it. I'll be in for like loads and loads of savings. I'm up for that life. So if you want to see how I apply and wear this foundation throughout the day, then please keep on watching. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. So I was actually super excited to see Wet n Wild come to Boots. And since it's having like 20% student discount for October, I thought why not give it a go? What the hell is this? I've just taken the lid off. What is this? Is it like, ah. Oh, it's like an applicator. Oh, okay. See how we go. That is a, that is a smell and a half, let me put it that way. We'll see how we go with that much. I'm going to start on this side with my Elf Ultimate Blending Brush and I'll do the other with my LA Girl sponge. Oh, that smells so bad. And I feel like that's all you can smell applying it. So it is a little bit dark for me, maybe a shade. But otherwise, the coverage is about medium, I would say, so far. And it's looking a little bit like a satin matte finish on this side. It looks pretty bad with this, with the brush, to be honest. I'm just not liking how it's blending into the skin. Yeah, it's emphasising on the dryness and texture here, which, you know, obviously you don't want emphasised. So I think what I'll do is I'll do this bit with my sponge and then we'll see what's going to go for the forehead. It kind of looks like it's like barely there. It's like this sponge has soaked up loads of product. So I'm going to apply a bit more. It definitely looks far better with the sponge. I don't think I would use it with the brush. I feel like now that it's like settled onto the skin and I'm looking at it like properly, I would say we've got a satin matte finish and we've got medium coverage, which I'm quite happy with. You can still see a little bit of like breakthrough, but otherwise I think it looks pretty good. Just gonna smooth this side out before we go to the forehead. Definitely gonna go at the forehead with the sponge. Oh, those dry patches are still really emphasized. Don't go in with a brush if you have dry skin. It just doesn't look good at all. It has a little bit more of a yellowy undertone, whereas my skin's a bit more neutral. So that's partially why it's off and it is, like I said, a shade too dark. So the more it's drying down after like sponge application, it's looking like soft matte. And I think it looks very flattering on the forehead and here. It looks natural. It doesn't look any kind of cakey or anything like that. It looks pretty bad on the sponge side, to be honest. Like, I'm not happy with it at all. However, it looks 
very, very nice. And I'm quite happy with it. And I didn't exfoliate before, so I didn't see any dry patches, but there must have been some there, which is why it's shown up. So I definitely think exfoliate before you use this foundation. Especially if you only use a brush, I think that is absolutely necessary. I'm gonna fix this side, put the rest of my makeup on, and I'll be right back. So I didn't have to set my face with a new powder. This is like completely matte, went completely, completely matte. And I think the only problem with that was I didn't put my concealer on while it was still a bit tacky. And I feel like you have to kind of work quickly with that because I got like a little like kind of dry area around here where the concealer ended, which is less than attractive. But otherwise it worked pretty well. I could bend powder products on top with like no powder at all. All I did was set my concealer. I have set like nowhere else. So we're going to see how it lasts throughout the day. So now I'm going to go through the products I used on the rest of my face. So I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and set it with a Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Pressed Powder. For bronzer I used the L'Oreal Back to Bronze and for blush I used the Miss Barty Insta Glow Blush in Shiny Coral. It does have like a little bit of a glow and I think it's just very pretty. For highlight I used the MUA Shimmer Highlight Powder in Pearlescent Sheen. It does have like a purple hint but I really like that and I really like that to kind of go with this eye look. For my eyebrows, I used the Revolution Redemption Palette like I normally do and the L'Oreal Brow Plumper. So I then prepped my eyes with MAC Paint Pot. I used the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer to cut my crease. And then for eyeshadow, I used the Take Me Back to Brazil Palette by BH. And for my inner corner highlight and for the white on the centre, I used the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill and the Gorgeous palette. For mascara, I used Benefit Roller Lash, which I've been loving at the moment. I feel like it transfers less than Bad Gal. I feel like I poke myself in the eye more with Bad Gal, which is partially probably why it transfers less. But like, I just, it looks so pretty. And then I used the Sugar Pill Thai Tea Lipstick in trifle. I also set my face with the Revolution Fixing Spray and a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. So I can see this one lasting really well throughout the day. I think in warmer weather it would last better. I think in drier months I don't know that I'm going to be able to wear this foundation but let's see how it goes. So this foundation is definitely like too dark. You can kind of see here I've left like as much of my neck bare as possible but you can kind of see it's darker like when I look straight on than my neck. So it clearly doesn't go light enough to suit my skin tone, but it's not always that a foundation does do that. It's remained quite matte actually throughout the day. Like I'm at like five hours now and I don't really see any of my oils coming through, even here. And here is where I tend to see my oils coming through because this is my oily patch. Honestly, it looks really good. Like really good. Like it's even more matte I would say. So if you're afraid of it emphasizing any dry patches, then that's something to be aware of. But if you exfoliate beforehand, then you shouldn't have that problem. I didn't. And I had that problem around here with a brush. So sponge application and applying it once you've exfoliated is what I would recommend. But it's looking very nice and I'm really liking it. I am gonna do my final check-in of the night before I go to the gym tonight. I'm not going to take my makeup off for the gym. If I look like a mess after, I look like a mess after. But then this could be like a gym makeup for me, like a super, super matte foundation. So we'll see how this wears. So it's been about eight, nine hours since I put this foundation on now. And I just, I'm looking at myself and I feel like I've got a proper like orange face and a white neck. That's like, it's instantly what I'm thinking. And then I'm looking at it and it feels makeup-y as well, like just around here. I didn't even powder around there like I normally do because it was so matte that I didn't need to. It looks okay, don't get me wrong, like I would totally wear it again for £5. It's a decent foundation, like it's really good. It started to settle a little bit into my lines here and I can see it's starting a little bit here. And it's held product well, don't get me wrong. It looks okay, it's not like as strong as it was when I first put it on. But otherwise I am pretty happy with it. Oh, it hasn't really come through at all on like my oily areas so I think if you're oily this would work really well for you it's controlled my oil here and here very well today it is a little bit orange I think if you're deeper than me it might work otherwise you'll have to mix in a whitener 
I'm thinking the Nip and Fab foundation might be good if you want to keep it matte. And if not, the LA Girl Pro Illuminating one's quite good for adding a bit of moisture into a foundation like this. So I think next time I'll mix it with one of those and we'll see how this works. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload.